Welcome to the shit talk. <laughs> this is the subject that we haven't actually covered. <laughs> <laughs> but we all always cover our shit. Okay. Tara te hakasista. Welcome to have a toilet talk with us. Yes, toilet is one of the number ones in our van. And number two. <laughs> I love having a toilet in a car. I think it's one of the favorite things in our car. And the second thing is the hot shower. Yeah, toilet gives you freedom because you don't have to go look around toilet in the morning time. There's an outhouse or something we usually use the outhouse, but otherwise we use our toilet. It's a cassette toilet from Tetford. It's 25 liters. And lasts approximately three days. Yeah with our usage. So it's kind of small, you have to empty it quite often, but the other thing could point is it's not that heavy and it doesn't get that smelly because it's so small. And emptying, you, you go emptying it somewhere else so the smell doesn't come inside the van. And you can empty the cassette toilet to every normal flushing toilet. And cassette toilets are very common in RVs in Europe. And Western Europe is full of these dumping places where you can empty your cassette. And in Eastern Europe, you have to just find toilet where you can dump it. Yeah. Usually there's uh, like a gas station or something that has uh, toilets outside. It's been really easy to live with that toilet. And now when we are here in Helsinki, we dump it to the public toilets or come here to camping ground in Rastla, which costs us two euros to fill up the fresh water and empty the toilet. Also, it looks like a normal water toilet. So if you have a quest over, they know how to use it. So they don't get freaked, freaked out about it. Only minor, maybe not so good thing. It, it's kind of small. Yes. But we don't want to buy extra cassette because I don't want to keep hoarding our shit. <laughs> yeah. The caravan owners are the only species that carry out their own feces and are proud of it. Yeah. So there's a poops <laughs> mobile on every freeway when you go there. <laughs> and of, of course, in cassette toilets, you need to use chemicals. And we have tested all the chemicals that are on the market. And there's only one that is working and taking the, all the orders away. And it's a Tetford Blue. This one, it makes you blue to blue and P to green. Yes, uh, they actually so sell this as liquid and also as a pouch. Those little tablets. Tablets that you put your, into your cassette toilet. We have used the liquid because it's cheaper and you can find them in, everywhere. We tried every other brands and non-brands and pine chemical toilet uh, they liquids. They do not work. Yeah, they do not work. They don't take away the odors or they don't help with the breaking of the uh, material. For example, paper. This stuff here is 96% just alcohol. It's biological, created, creatable Totally, so it's pretty good chemical, I would say. And somebody s said on a forum that they use used coffee grounds. Oh, we need here. Um, but I would say they don't work. I haven't tested them, but when you go empty the cassette here on the camping ground, you can actually smell if someone else has used the vineyard chair. Yeah, because it's it doesn't take the smell away smell away yeah so we prefer the Tetford blue but yeah. we have actually one solution to not use the chemical maybe we are trying this sock system yeah it promises absolutely no additives needed so it promises us that we don't have to use chemicals anymore but <laughs> let's see we are little 
suspicious about it. Yeah, they sell these fans for every cassette toilet model that there is for Tetford and also the other yeah. brands. I know. It says it's easy to install, but let's see. Yeah, and uh, let's see if it works. Yeah, installing is pretty straightforward. Couple of holes, couple of uh, screws, cords that you have to plug in and modify one plastic part of the cassette toilet. And about the uh, uh, toilet paper. Yeah, usually the cheap ones works the best. Because they break easily. Yeah, and if you buy those really... Uh, like kitchen towel type, yeah. really thick. Four layers and thick and... Bleach it and... And skinned it and those usually don't work on a cassette toilet, but every cheap brand will work. But now it's sunny and it's not that cold anymore because it's spring so we will install it and not freeze our hands while doing it and after that every time that you open the plate of the well, to toilet and then the fan will hit on so the suck system package includes the fan it's just 0. 8 watts so it doesn't consume any power and there's a, the pipe that goes to the cassette so this goes in top of the cassette and this goes out this cover will go outside and there's charcoal filter inside so the neighbors won't get the, all the shit smell when we go to the toilet. And then there's uh, bits and bobs that you need for the install. All the things you need and installing instructions. All in Deutsch. All in Deutsch. Every part of the install is here explained with the pictures. And it's not really a hard thing. You just have to make a hole for this van, the door of the cassette toilet and then just screwing things in and plugging some cords and that's it. Then you have a working sock system. Let's go and install it. All the tools that you need for the install, just normal things, pliers, 39 millimeter drill bit, 5 millimeter drill bit, drill, silicone, screwdrivers, and of course electrical meter to check the install that it's right. Nothing special. Yes, first thoughts about the suck system. Yes, install was re really easy. I have to do some cable management and that's it. The install is ready. Yeah. It was easy. Took us like two hours. I mean, one hour was just... Wondering what pieces mm -hmm. go where. Yeah, because I had to screw a couple of plastic parts away from the toilet and it took time to know how to assemble them back. 
and we took number two in our toilet. And every time we open the valve, the little fan kicks in. There is absolutely no smells inside of the car, so we are really impressed with that future. And we knew that when you are emptying, it will be disgusting. <laughs> yeah, and it was. Yes. So it doesn't take the smell away when you are emptying it. Mm, of course not. And maybe we use in future just a cup, cup of Petford Blue yeah. what, before emptying. Just yeah. to make it more pleasant. Yeah, but that little skin mm. that came every time you when you went to the toilet is gone. Yeah. And that was like, it was just a little skin and now it's totally gone. So I'm pretty impressed about that. Yeah. Uh, there's a couple of buts that me, we are wondering about because the hose that goes to the fan, it's in top of the cassette and there's no like, uh, if you, if, if the piss splashes inside the cassette, do it, does it go to the hose? Yeah, that's <laughs> a bit scary because when we drive a bumpy road, which we do very often, does something disgusting happen to the tube? And if it's, then we have to modify the tube. But yeah, it, it's just a just a guess of, uh, yeah, of us. Yeah, maybe it doesn't affect at all. Yeah. But we will make a follow-up episode if we find something really... Positive or negative yeah. about this thing. But now, yeah. Confused... Feelings, mixed feelings about Yeah, it. we had mixed feelings before we installed and when we read the reviews and we have mixed feelings yeah. at the moment with the system. But these are really important thing when you are living in this small space, so yeah, these but, things matter a lot. Yeah, but that uh, that fan is no-brainer. When you are having a composting toilet in your summer cottage or something, there's always a fan Yeah, that sucks air to the top of the whole toilet. We so don't understand why. They don't install those in, in every campers. Yeah. This, uh, the space is smaller. The, basically, we mix the liquids and solids that we don't on a composting toilet. Yeah, so the sewer effect is instant. Yeah. And there's no fan, we don't understand why. Yeah, but now we have the fan mm. and we are pleased about it. So far. Yeah. So. We hope you enjoyed our little toilet episode. <laughs> this was uh, awkward to do and awkward to edit, but we finally got it ready. Yeah. <laughs> okay. See you soon. <laughs> Bye. Bye.